Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. This is Mary Lou Areño. So I'm glad that we're back again in this uh, new video. And uh, my topic for today is about uh, looking for more job vacancies uh, in the United States. This is in particular the teaching jobs. And I'm going to show you a lot of uh, links and websites uh, where you can look for a job. So I want you to get your paper and pen and start uh, writing information. But before I will start with the uh, job vacancies, I would like to answer some of the questions uh, sent by uh, the viewers. And uh, just to clarify on things regarding J-1 visa and as well as question on uh, getting a waiver. So first, let's start with the J-1 visa. Viewers are asking if a J-1 visa can be uh, applied direct. And the answer is yes. And the reason for that is, uh, although you are applying for a job with employers with a particular school, some schools, they don't have a sponsoring agency, or uh, but they are willing to look for one. But as a teacher applicant, if you already know a J-1 sponsor, then you can recommend that to the school who is willing to hire you or give you job offer. So it is important for you to make a research and find some sponsoring agencies that can process your J-1 visa. So you can be hired direct and you don't have to pass through a third party agency, okay? And some of the sponsors, like the J-1 sponsors, they are requiring employers to pay for the fee of uh, the service and the DS-2019. So it is an advantage for the teacher applicant because you don't have to spend uh, for, for those, for the J-1 visa. And the only uh, things or documents that you are going to be worried about in terms of expenses is uh, your credential evaluation, which you need about $200 to $300 for that. And another expenses, if you are a direct hire, definitely your uh, flight ticket, your airline ticket. And uh, of course, if you need some pocket money, you need to be prepared for that. And um, the responsibility of the schools is to provide you housing so they can at least look for housing for you where to stay when you arrive in the US. And they are also responsible for picking you up from the airport and bring you to where you need to reside. So, Teachers are asking like how much it costs to apply for a teacher under a J-1 visa. So it's actually depending on uh, your J-1 visa sponsor because some J-1 visa sponsors, they ask the teachers to pay, but some sponsors, they require the employers to pay. So when you say J-1 visa or the DS-2019, Usually it costs from 800 to 1,200, something like that. So if you total the cost for a teacher applicant in the United States as a J-1 visa under the direct hire, it's just your DS, your flight ticket and your credential evaluation. So it's up to you how much uh, like pocket money or uh, spending money you would like to bring with you. But some employers also, they give sign-in bonus. So as soon as you step in their, in their school, they'll give you a check as soon as you sign. So you have to look for those benefits as well. So those are just some of the questions. And another question is uh, for the J-1 teachers that are already in the United States, how can they file for a waiver? I explained that in my previous video, but I just wanted to clarify that there is uh, there are two steps process in, in getting a waiver, okay? So one, 
the first step is to uh, get your no objection statement from the Philippines, like the CFO or the foreign affairs. They're, they're the one processing the no objection statement for the J1 teachers. The no objection is saying that you don't need to go home for two years for residency because your government is allowing you they are doing no objection for you to stay in the United States. So once you get that statement, you can file that with the US Department of State for a waiver. So the waiver is coming from the US Department of State, but the US Department of State cannot process your waiver unless you have your no objection statement from your home country. So once you have your waiver released by the US Department of State, then you can ask your employer to petition you or to sponsor you for another visa, which is usually the H-1B visa or the worker's visa, okay? The employment-based uh, visa. So those are some of the questions that I would like to clarify for, for the viewers that are listening in, in case uh, you are curious also that will benefit you. And then now let us move to the different websites where you can look for job vacancies and possible uh, having a direct hire to teach in the United States. So are you ready? Get ready with your paper and pen. So let's look at the web. So um, for this day, you are going to uh, like look at the different websites where you can look for job vacancy. And I have, I think 10 or nine websites that I'm going to share today, okay? So let's begin. So the first one, it's called the diversityined.com, okay? So diversity recruitment partner. So that is a website where you can search for a job. So if you if you look at the website, look at this. You are going to enter here your, let's say a position. You are looking for an English teacher and you can even um, do the location. Let's say you are interested to apply in Arizona. So type that and then um, do the search for jobs. And a lot of jobs are uh, going to come out, okay? So let's try it again and go back. And you can even um, do it here. So let's say here in Alaska, you click Alaska, then, um, or here, it came out, the Flagstaff, Arizona, the first search that we did. So you will be doing search and then once you find the position that is applicable to you, like now they have a preschool instructor in Flagstaff, Arizona, and they have second grade teacher, and they have elementary school counselor. These are all near Flagstaff, Arizona. And there is a English as a second language teacher, interventionist, there is a music teacher, okay? But this one is in Massachusetts. So I think they're giving us the highlighted job. But if you are going to a search for a particular place, for example, in Alaska, you can click that and it will come out the job vacancies in Alaska. Um, like for example, this one, you always look for a full-time job, of course, not just a substitute or teacher aid because J-1 visa, they will only process the certified teachers with at least two, two years of experience and uh, of course, full-time contract. So there is the high school teacher, math and science in Alaska and uh, middle school teacher, special education. And if you click the link, it will uh, lead you to a place like uh, they will tell you the job descriptions and they can even um, tell you how to apply, okay? So there is the link, click apply 
and you are going to log in there, sometimes it will require you to do your username and password or register your uh, credentials. So, but, but that is the way you use this website. You just type the position and search for the states where you would like to work. There are 50 states uh, that you can choose where you wanna work. If you want to work in the West or in the East or in the Midwest, it's up to you. But this is a, a good link, the diversity in ed, where you can search for job vacancies, okay? So take note of that. And if you missed the URL, you can always go back and watch the video and, and look for it. And the next one is called teacherjobfairs.org, okay? And what is good about this is they have a virtual online job fair, okay? So they have a schedule by a month. So their next schedule is on October 7, 2021. So if you would like to register, it, it has the details here, what time, and then uh, if you are a job seeker or a career seeker, you register here. And employers are also attending this to interview applicants. So this is where the employers need to register. But for all teachers that are looking for a job and you wanted to be interviewed on the spot, attend this virtual career fairs, which is scheduled in October 7th. I know I heard that there are a lot of teachers that were already accepted as a direct hire teacher in Alaska. And congratulations to those teachers. Good luck to you all. But for those that are not uh, receiving job offer yet, don't give up. There are so many opportunities. All you need to do is look for it and uh, do not give up on sending applications, okay? So this is the best, uh, one of the best website that you can use and register for their uh, online virtual. And uh, you can also explore here. You can post re your resume and then they will place you or maybe uh, match you with, uh, with the employers that are looking for um, employees or teachers. And then they will submit your resume there, okay? That is the second website, the teacherjobfairs.org. And then the third one is the teaching nomad. Okay, so that's kind of like a wandering teacher. But what is good about this is if you're not interested to teach in the United States, there are other places to look for a job too. Like there is a one in UAE, the United Arab Emirates, and in China, and maybe more. You just scroll like that. But here, if you will look for uh, teaching jobs in the United States, let's click, and um, you will find a lot. And you can also uh, like choose to limit your or filter your selection. But look at that high school computer science teacher in Denver. Okay, if you click this, it will lead you to the website where it, it um, gives you a lot of information. So here, high school computer science teacher, if you read in this area, the start date is August 8, August 23, 2021. So it's just May, there's still time to file your application, okay? And then it says uh, it is a charter school and that's the schedule location is in Denver, Colorado. And uh, start date is August uh, 2021. These are the benefit package, annual salary. There's a medical benefit, dental insurance, employee assistant and counseling 401 and uh, FMLA effective immediately, okay? So uh, family medical leave, that is the family medical leave. Act. And you know, a 401k is like a, a retirement uh, plan for private or uh, 
company that are not under federal, okay? So it's like a, a benefit for your retirement wherein employers are um, giving certain percentage for your retirement. So that is, they call it the 401. And then it also shows the requirements. What do they need? The summary of the job. And then you can click the red button to apply. So it's the same thing. Once you click that, you can register. They will ask you to uh, make your username and password, fill up and submit your credentials and so on, okay? You just don't want to click it right now because uh, it will mess up my uh, saved um, websites here. But that is a lot of work. You just need to look. Look at that. If you are a physics teacher, and then you can even go to the next page. See? Secondary science teacher, Miss Hitchhikers, one of my uh, avid viewer. This is for you, secondary science teacher. Go, it's in New York. File your application. And for those that are special ed also, physics, middle school science teacher, a lot, okay? So keep looking, there will be a, a job for you. There will be a perfect job for you. So a lot of science positions, special ed for middle school and high school, biology teacher in Albany, USA. So if you click that, it will show here. So it's all boys charter school, okay? So, uh, and it tells also the benefit package, the requirements here. And if you are uh, in the middle school here in Denver, that will also tell you, okay? So that is another uh, website where you can search. It's called Nomad, uh, Teaching Nomad. And then you can explore. There's so many tabs here that you can uh, explore and look for for a job, okay? And um, this is the URL. You can just uh, type it in your computer. So that is the third one, a lot of uh, job vacancies. Don't lose hope, there will be a perfect job for you. And then the fourth website where you can also look for job vacancies, it's the teach, um, NIEA.org or the National Indian Education Association. And usually this website, they post job vacancies for Native American schools. And Native American schools are great schools. And by the way, I am employed to a Native American school. So look at that. So if you will do jobs here, job alerts or post for a job or browse for jobs you can just click okay and if you would like to submit your resume it's there and then look for jobs let's click that um, so you have to put keyword just like what uh, they did a while ago let's type what work do you like to oh here there has choices here too see you can click. Wow. We see a lot of job vacancies, but if you would like to filter your search, you can just type the position that you have and where you would like to work. Okay. And then I think the category is uh, there. If it is a secondary, elementary, it's just culture. Okay. Depend on what department you would like to apply. If it is elementary, high school or middle school. And these are some of the job vacancies. This is in Wisconsin, fifth grade teacher. That is Ojib West School, okay? Bureau of Indian Eagle Butte. This is in South Dakota. Math teacher, uh, the name of the school is Cheyenne Eagle Butte School. It's all full-time and gifted and talented teacher. If you have a gifted endorsement, you're qualified to do that. And uh, they also have a position for administrators. 
but I think day one visa is uh, mostly for teachers, but you have the opportunity to rise to the rank, okay? Social studies teacher, you are a social studies major, special education teacher, this is, these are the name of the school. And then once you click that, it will lead you to their website. Let's try, and then you can load more listings, okay? So let's try a math teacher. If you click that, it will lead you to uh, this website. I think I've shown this to you before. It's called the Bureau of Indian Education website, www.bie.edu. It is linked to there as well. So you can select the position. Okay, and it's, and remember I, I told you they always say that uh, Indian preference, yes, that is true. But if they cannot hire uh, Native Americans, then they will move to uh, the second preference and the third preference, okay? There's a pay level there. And it, you can explore, there are link as well and to uh, study the information more, okay? So explore is the keyword and uh, you will look for more job, okay? So there, and then you can even click here if you just want the teacher and it will show up. There's even agriculture teacher, uh, special ed and all those, okay? So keep looking and keep exploring. So the website is teachniea.org. And you can also look for um, www.wbie.edu. Those are the Native American schools as well. So if you're interested to work in, in the Native American schools. Okay, so that's the fourth one. Let's move to the next website. So teachaway.com. And um, it's the same thing. Well, it says here there are 178 vacancies found. And you can also quick apply okay, or view job details. Like here, um, special education teacher, K-12 teacher, middle school science. So science are quite in demand. There are so many science and math teachers that are uh, vacant. So look for an, an special education. And usually that is true. The most uh, positions that they usually like having a hard time filling are the science, math, and special education. And um, because in the, in the US, uh, there are also a lot of teachers and there are like the generalists the general ed teachers, okay? And these are the specialized areas, okay? There's even, they are even looking for a school psychologist intern. So in order for you to search, um, so this is the US, what states you would like to work, and then you can select a position. Of course, it's certified teacher. And then um, let's try, they, they gave that place. Let's see, uh, Lakeside, or maybe this is a default because it's following where I live. Lakeside, Arizona, but let's try California, search. Search for a job. What's happening? Is it reading? Okay, so just, just continue exploring the website. I think it's buffering, but take note of the www.teachaway.com and you can start searching for job vacancies and you can even view the job details here and you can quickly send your application online, okay? Let's move to the next website. It's called Arabia. Dot com. It's it's like a, a recruitment agency also, or or just like in the Philippines, the the like the job Lena something like that, or the Indeed, 
where uh, employers submit uh, job vacancies and job seekers also uh, register to look for a job, okay? And here are some uh, examples of job vacancies um, from Ed Arabia. Uh, look at those. So substitute, don't, don't go for substitute teacher. You are not qualified for visa if you are just a substitute teacher. And there, there is the middle school maternity math teacher. Wow, the first time I heard maternity math teacher. Or maybe they are subbing for someone who's giving birth. Huh? English teacher, there's one. So this is California, okay? Anatomy and physiology teacher, math and science teacher, kindergarten. So remember J1 visa is for K to 12 teachers. So if you are a kindergarten teacher up to 12th grade and you are specialized in uh, subject areas, then you are qualified and at least you have two years of experience, okay? So here, middle school and math in California. So explore and open apply. I don't wanna open apply because it will lead me to another website where I need to register and all. So just remember this URL and you can search for more job vacancies and you can type uh, whatever um, city or state you are looking for, okay? So the next one is schoolspring.com. Let's see how it looks like. Unified Talent School Spring, www.schoolspring.com, okay? and you will look for a lot of job vacancies. Look at that, it, they are, these are new jobs, showing future job and maybe the most recent, and you can even uh, click to uh, you know, filter your search. Let's say you're, you're just a middle school teacher and you don't want to see the other uh, areas and you would like to be the classroom teacher then click search, and then it will limit the selection to just the teachers there. So sixth grade English language arts teacher or reading. This is in um, Corning, Iowa. Yeah. Interventionists in Vermont, middle school teacher in New York. So look at the, uh, the job title. This is the employer, the name of the school, and this is the location or the place. So look at those middle school STEM teacher. STEM is the science, uh, uh, technology, engineering, and mathematics teacher. ELL or special educator, even music and band teacher, reading specialist, math, this is in Portland. South Portland, Maine, it doesn't Maine, not the Portland, Oregon. And a special educator in Massachusetts. Okay, a lot of positions. So mostly here are, are reading or English language arts, classroom teacher, science, math, and special educators. And you can even click next and it will lead you to the next page and it will show you more job vacancies. And I think they are arranged according to the date they were posted. And these are just recent, you know, okay. In uh, I think KY is Kentucky, South Carolina, so they are Georgia, Pennsylvania, okay. So depending on, uh, you can even search for the school, like these are the name of the school. Look for Clayton County Public Schools if you want to be directly applying to their website. So look for that website and apply direct so you don't have to go through schoolspring.com. But my point here is this is where you look for a job and then proceed to the school district. So you can go direct to their school district, okay? So math teacher, 
this is in Kentucky and uh, Pulaski County Schools, I can public schools, but this is the one you, you need to click, I think. The blue one, it will lead you to like here. The It will tell you where it is located. There's a map and you will learn more about the county schools. It will lead you probably to their website. And uh, here, okay, full time, apply for this job, see? You can even submit your application direct here. Or if you want to um, go straight to the employer in Kentucky, excuse me, you can uh, click here to email Annette Cottrell and you can submit your application there, okay? click to email and inquire for the job. So that is the best way. They're going directly to the school contact person. So, but you go to schoolspring.com to look for the different job vacancy, all right? So I hope you are remembering all those. Let's move to the next one. Teachingjobs.com, okay? So it has the full-time, part-time, and all the filtering on the side too. Excuse me. Okay, look at the location here for different states. If you want to trim down your search, just click if you want public school or charter school, okay? So let's say let's remove charter so it will just show public school. So these are public school. And I have one viewer. She got a job offer in Maricopa. So this is in Maricopa, Arizona. Okay. So try applying also to that uh, school, to the county Maricopa High School. This is the Butterfield Elementary. But this one is in Casa Grande. Okay. So a lot of job vacancies. This is the www.teachingjobs.com, right? So don't forget that. And trim down location. Of course, you will look for full time. And a date posted, is it just today? So maybe you choose the one of today. They're very fresh. Because the one that are old, maybe they're filled or maybe a lot of applicants already, okay? So let's see the one that just posted yesterday okay they said no they did not post yet let's go to alaska why it's not giving me the details let's go back i think i need to click search what but anyway, uh, go to the teachingjobs.com and then start searching, okay? And then uh, here, we're back again. Santa Rosa Elementary, that's in Maricopa. Fourth grade teacher, uh, beginning school year 2021-2022, that's in Maricopa, Casa Grande as well. And that is the name of the school. So you can search for that. They even have a choir and guitar teacher for those uh, that are music teacher, third grade teacher, and all that. Secondary, okay? So keep looking, keep looking. A lot of job vacancies. Let's move to where my home is in Arizona. I think I, I showed this to you already before. But uh, there are so many new jobs again for job seekers. And I love this website because it's so easy to use. So they, you can search by category. If you are an early childhood teacher, you go here, elementary teacher. There is middle school, high school. If you are a special educator, and of course, here at the bottom are like the special teachers and even administrators there at the bottom, okay? So 
if you are going to look for a job, you can even send your resume there and you will be, uh, they will send you to like whoever is looking for that particular uh, qualifications. Let's view the latest jobs. There, these are the latest jobs. They just posted them and they are posted according to county. So the first one is the Apache County, uh, which is uh, in Sanders, Arizona. And there's a early childhood teacher um, Head Start, I think it's not qualified for J1 because this is a preschool, like the toddlers or the three years old, four, like that. But early childhood, when they say early childhood, this is up to third grade. Okay. And then there is the math teacher. This is in Sanders as well. So what, what is good about this website? If you click, let's say you are a secondary math teacher, if you click that, it will lead you to this page and you can find, uh, there is the position, the job description and other, okay? And here it will tell you the contact person, that's Rosalind Begay, so you can uh, even send there. And if you, uh, right click to copy the email address well i don't want to right click but here is their website let's go to the website of uh sanders unified school district so my point here is if you go to the arizona education employment board there are a lot of job vacancies there choose for a position click the position and look for the school district and that's where you will submit your application. So here, if you click, uh, you are now in Sanders Unified School District. If you, if you click employment and it, it will tell you that their vacant positions and when they posted it. So they just posted the math teacher and the elementary school or pre-K teacher. And on the, and April 16, this is the elementary school and middle school. So you click that. And it will tell you uh, like the job descriptions and sometimes they even tell you the salary categories and all the job requirements. So when is it going to start? The base salary, okay, up to 12 years credit. So it means if you they have a salary scale usually and if you uh let's say you have a 20 years uh, experience as a teacher they will not pay all of those 20 years they will only pay up to 12 years okay but th that is very good enough and what is good about this in sanders is a uh, housing available 150 per month up to 230 per month, depending on the number of bedrooms in it. Wow, you cannot find those rate of houses in the United States, only in the schools, because that's part of their benefit, okay? Even in our school district, we do that. We subsidize housing, we did, the teachers pay very minimal, because that's another uh, way of uh, inviting qualified applicants, part of the benefit. And here, so I told you a while ago, the contact person is Rosalind Begay. That's their address, the PO box. And then if you click here, you can send your application directly to Rosalind Begay. So there is the click here for email, right? And it will lead to their like district email. So let's let's move back to uh, the Arizona. I think, I hope it will allow me. There, ArizonaEducationJobs.com. This is the website. Okay. So just scroll down and look for whatever positions you have. If you want middle school, you're qualified for middle school or high school, and there are different, uh, oh, Someone also asked me um, questions because usually when they say teacher, it's just like 
you are an elementary teacher or a science teacher or a math teacher or a social studies teacher. And, and uh, one of the viewer asked if she is an economic graduate, economics background and also experienced teacher, yes, you can apply. There are subjects for economics and there are subject for business as well. These are like part of the special courses or electives in high school. So this is in Northwest Maricopa. And you can get a certificate. It's called Career Technical Education in Business. Okay. And this is like an adjunct uh, instructor in Primavera. So yes, you are qualified to teach if you are in business or in uh, economics, especially you have long years of experience, they will grant you a career technical education certification. All right, so I gave you a lot of information already on where to look for a job. And once you uh, find a job that you like, here are the special ed and uh, middle school and elementary. Once you find the job that fits you, you send your application, wait uh, to be called for interview. Once you uh, were uh, like oh, get a job offer or accepted for the job, go back to my YouTube channel. Uh, or let's say you are scheduled for interview. I have a series there that uh, some tips about interview. Okay, how to answer tough interview questions. I have episode there. And also if you get a job offer and they don't have a sponsor agency, I think it's in my series number six, if I am not mistaken, it's about where to find uh, J1 sponsors. You also go there. And if you need credential evaluation, I have also an episode about uh, credential evaluation. Okay, so uh, I, I wanted to give information, a complete information in my series. So if you will follow my YouTube channel from uh, the beginning, I have series one. I think I published series one to nine on just how to apply for a job in the United States. So you will learn a lot of details there from where to look for a job, how to the different understanding the different kinds of visas and preparing yourself for application, interview, credentials, and all that. So, and, and remember, I mentioned before, I am not a recruitment uh, person or a recruitment agency. So do not apply to me. Uh, I am just giving information for you to apply to different school districts so you get hired direct. And um, my email address is the teacher's best friend at gmail.com. So if you have questions, email me and I will try my very best to answer. Okay. So I can I can help you and guide you with the process. But of course, you need to do your part, prepare your resume, your application, submit and submit and submit as much application as you can. Okay, so those are the websites that you can explore for those that are still looking. And hopefully, I wish you luck, hopefully with all these websites that I have shown you, nine of them you will find the perfect fit for you, okay? So I wish you good luck and thank you for watching and bye for now. And don't forget, if you have a topic that you want me to discuss, especially on professional development and other questions, uh, please comment and I will try my very best to uh, make a video for that, okay? So bye for now and to God be the glory.